right in today's lesson we're going to move a bit further and talk about some other examples on this topic proving by mathematical induction so we have an example here and you're asked to prove that this is true for every positive integer okay so remember yesterday i rated that this part it shows the sum this part shows you the nth term right so we'll start with a best case so sometimes when they don't tell you where it's starting from as you can see like from another example here they say n is greater than 2 so when they don't tell you that when there's no condition you can of course start with n is equal to 1 okay so we wait n to be equal to 1 and if n is equal to 1 what are we going to have so for n is equal to 1 we're saying the sum of the first terms using that formula is going to be equivalent to that part so we'll get our first term which is 1 it's supposed to be equal to so we're saying n is equal to 1 so we put a 1 there is n there minus 1 so 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2 minus 1 is going to be 1 so it's true for the best case so then you move on we assume that n is equal to k and if n is equal to k what are we going to have we're going to have 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared I'm just copying what's here plus dot 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 then 2 so you're saying n becomes k so k minus 1 is equal to 2k minus 1 all right so from there we can let again our n we introduce a new term to be k plus 1 so if our new term becomes k plus 1 we're going to continue from this point so 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared plus dot dot 2k minus 1 so we're introducing a new term Okay, so the new term is going to be that now where there is n we put what we put k plus 1 because this is remember this is a formula for the nth term so it's going to be 2 where there is n we put k plus 1 then we're subtracting 1 there so minus 1 then this is supposed to be equivalent to what to the other part where there is n again we put what k plus 1 so I'm just substituting that point in minus 1. So this is what we have. So we can move on. So to make our proving easier, we know from this stage that this part, up to this part is equivalent to what? To that. So we can substitute this whole part, excluding the new term, by 2k minus 1. So this will become 2 raised to the power of k minus 1 plus the new term which is 2k plus 1 minus 1 equal to 2k plus 1 minus 1 all right so what are we going to have so we're going to have 2k minus 1 then 1 minus 1 will be 0 so i'm just going to remain with plus 2k is equal to 2k plus 1 minus 1 okay so these are right terms okay they're like terms so what can we do we can let them to be equal to so let any variable maybe x be equal to 2k so we substitute so that becomes x minus 1 plus x so i'm just substituting where this 2k to put what x so that you understand So from there, what do we do? x plus x becomes 2x minus 1 is equal to 2k plus 1 minus 1. So we can bring back our x. So our x was what? 2k. 2 raised to the power of k minus 1, which is equal to 2k plus 1 minus 1. So from the rules of indices, the laws of indices we know that whenever you have the same base you can add what 
their powers. So this one has got a power of 1, so k plus 1 minus 1 is supposed to be equal to 2, then k plus 1 minus 1. So we've proven that this is what? This is true.